I am Sayyid Abid Hussain. I belong from uh, India, Indian state in Kashmir. And from Kashmir, I am uh, district headquarters, Srinagar. I am a postgraduate mass com student. I have done mass communication. I am associated with uh, print and electronic media. I am a freelance journalist and a broadcaster also. I am associated with All India Radio as a freelance uh, announcer and compare and program presenter. Also associated with the bank as an executive. Uh, I'm a writer also. I'm writing poetry. I'm writing Marcias and Nawaz also. And doing some research works about Islam, about culture, about community. Uh, presently, I'm here uh, to perform Ziyarat of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. And uh, we went uh, from Kashmir on 21st March. We reached uh, we performed uh, Umrah and then afterwards came to Iraq, uh, to Najaf and to this holy city of Karbala. We love Karbala by heart. Whenever we listen the name of Karbala, we really, our hearts melt. We have our deep roots, deep history in our performances of Shia. Shiaism, our own culture of reciting Marcia or doing our morning during Muharram. Uh, well, our Marcia is total social and culturally involved and uh, it is historic based. And uh, although the manuscript is very old, Kashmiri manuscript, in which Marcias are written. And those authors of the Marcias, I presume that they are great ulmas, they are great scholars, they had been great scholars. Because whatever they have written before 40, 50, 60 years ago, we found it the modern ulmas and modern scholars, Islamic scholars are uh, writing in the books nowadays or we have never seen any conflict, whatever the history of Karbala, whatever the Marcia we are doing. Uh, there is not a single conflict what our historians, what our Marcia Khans or whatever authors of the Marcia have said in those Marcias. In Kashmir, uh, it is 80 percent Muslim population. Among those that 80 percent, only 10 percent are Shia uh, people, the Shia sect, the Shia believers, the Imam Hussain believers. But it is okay, there is no conflict between the two sects, Shia or Sunni. Uh, but everybody hopes there, everybody wish to reach Karbala. Whenever we recite Marcias, we have a unique combination, a unique cultural uh, background in that. Our Marcias contain Hamd, Baritala and then Naat, Bahuzur, Sarvari Dualam, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam and then we came to Madda, uh, Madda Ali Murtaza Alaihi Salam and then afterwards it comes the Karbala which we call a Dard, the sad part of the Marcia and afterwards it, the, our Marcia ends uh, at, uh, we call it Zarb, the extreme uh, tearful, extreme, extreme situations, extreme uh, sad situations of Karbala. And during Muharram, we are highly involved, but other than Muharram days, every Shabi Juma in Mohallas, in local, local localities, we have got Marcias, we perform Marcias, and one good thing about this is that whenever a person dies, we recite Marcias on the Tabud also after making Jinaza, making Nimaz Jinaza of uh, the body, dead body. We recite Marcias at that period. Marcias give us uh, very satisfaction and we in Marcias say or when we mourn to some death person, we say that we have to bear it. We have to 
keep in mind that Karbala, whenever a young person dies, we recite mercy as of Ali Akbar alayhi salam. And whenever an old age person dies, we recite the mercy as of Imam Hussain. We recite the mercy as of Habib ibn Mazahir alayhi salam. Or when a small child dies in our society, after the Namaz Jinaza, we recite the mercy of Ali Asghar alayhi salam. And that is a, our culture is involved in Marcia in Kashmir. Other than, other than Marcia, we recite Urdu or, and Kashmiri both. Uh, Nabahas, Nava, uh, poetic, that, uh, that are poetic related, certain are related. And I am also associated that I write uh, Nabahas also. And uh, we believe, and in our Marcias it is written there, that Imam Hussain alayhi salam has a deep rooted relation with India. And Imam Hussain alayhi salam has said that give me the path, I will go to, Kar I will go to India. It is written in our books, in our historic Marcia books. Imam Hussain intended to go India if Yazid will allow him to go. A relation is there. And one thing I have uh, written in my article once, three, four years ago, that India has a uh, king and at that time, whenever in the uh, 61st, 61st Hijri, when the Marakai Karbala, when the Battle of Karbala was held, Imam Hussain has one spouse, Bib Shwarban, has been related relations with India. At that time, his brother-in-law was the king of India at that time and it is believed that Bib Shorban sent a message to his sister over there to help me out in Karbala and then soldiers from India had come, had come to Karbala and in the various parts of India there are Tobrukats, there are uh, good things which they have taken away we believe from Karbala at that time and they are present in the various states of India like in Gujarat, like in UP, uh, like in Kashmir, in many parts. And uh, it, very interesting that no, some non-Muslims perform Navah, Marcia also, in India. That are, uh, those are called Husani Brahmans. Husani Brahmans are mostly in Bombay, in Kolkata. They are non-Muslims that they perform Navahs during Muharram. They take uh, Alams, they take uh, Zuljana. And it is believed that those Brahmans belong to the same community, the community uh, which Bib Shorban belonged, one of the spouses of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. And uh, this is written in the Indian history also, and this is written in the uh, uh, Marcias also, our old age ancient Marcias, which relate the story of Karbala. Our relations are with Imam Hussain alayhi salam. We Sadats in Kashmir have come, uh, and in fact, the Islam in Kashmir have come from Iran. Uh, the Sadats came uh, from Iran to Kashmir, and we have culturally some link, links there also with Iran. Uh, and um, before Islam, Kashmir has been involved with uh, Buddhism or um, non-Muslim sects where they are highly, hugely involved. And then afterwards, Mir Sayyid Ali Hamadani came to Kashmir from Iran, from Hamadan. And he was the first Sadat, first Sayyid of Kashmir, who then teaches uh, Islam, who then scattered Islam throughout Kashmir. And there are, in Sadats, just like I am Sayyid Abid Hussain, I, there are, they say, if you are Musvi, if you are Razvi, if you are this, we believe uh, that there are Razvi Sadats also, there are Musvi Sadats also, and Madani Sadats also. Uh, those who believe um, their uh, ancestral, this Imam Zainul Abdin, they belong from that part, and Kazmins or Musvis uh, say that they are Imam Musa Kazim alayhi salam from their family Sadats or Rizvi Sadats, Imam Raza Ali, Raza Ali Islam, from that part. And there is a brief history of Kash uh, Kashmir, 
as Shiaism in Kashmir. And uh, we are culturally linked and uh, without conflicting with other believers or other sects or like uh, Ali Sunnat Wal Jamaat, no conflicts at all. But there had been in previously some uh, clashes, sector, sectorial clashes, not no more. As, 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 um, as soon as education belongs in the Kashmir, JNK uh, or I will say Kashmir is 90% 90, 90 population is illiterate now. Everybody going to school, everybody going to madrasas, everybody um, trying to learn Quran, Arabic from the very first primary. So, we have uh, strong faith. But unfortunately, when we reach here in Karbala, uh, we have some, uh, we are surprised to see certain things like uh, two Jamaats are held at the same place and the same mosque, um, which we conflict there. We believe that there is no two Jamaats can be held at the same place. But here we surprisingly see that in the same mosque at the same place two Jamaats are held, one here, one here. And second thing we take time to our Salats, we take time to our prayers. We pray Maghrib, we pray Sunats also, we pray uh, recite uh, Tasbih Zara also. And then afterwards, it takes us a time for uh, taking Maghribains. But here, when uh, we take, we uh, go for Maghribains here, it is very quick. In Iraq, uh, people are very quick in uh, Salats, whereas we uh, perform it with, with calm and coolness. Uh, one more thing, during Muharram period, we are highly involved with these religious uh, messages, real, religious uh, um, communications throughout. And we have our own belief where Ali Akbar should have been uh, battling, where Imam Hussain, uh, our imaginations differ a lot. When we reach here, I am first time to Karbala and I believe modernization have just affected our, uh, those beliefs. It is very good thing. I can't believe Imam Hussain is, this mosque is so much beautiful, so much charming. Hazrat Abbas Alayhi Salam's mosque is so much charming. I believe in that maybe there may be subtle uh, Fatima Zahra must be searching for Hussain and Abbas, subtle. And there may be darkness inside, there may be some uh, poorness inside, but no. Modernization affected and well, mashallah two great ziyarats here, Imam Hussain alayhi salam, we are very happy to see two great ziyarats. Now they are, they are our um, part of our pilgrimage, um, religious pilgrimage. And even not only Muslims, I think non-Muslims should be allowed to come to Karbala to see Imam Hussain's mosque, to see inside, to recite what we are doing. Two people, Imam Hussain alayhi salam, Sayyida Shoda, at second, Hazrat Abbas, not being the Imam, not being the son of Fatima Zahra. Hazrat Abbas, whenever somebody says Hazrat Abbas, he is the Babul Hawaj, and we uh, highly, uh, deeply involved in our hearts, two people, and one uh, person, one that small child, Sakina, whosoever recites the name of Sakina, comes into tears. Zahuri Imam Mahdi. Peace in our lands, peace on the earth, Adil on the earth, Adalat on the earth, calmness in our hearts, Islam throughout the world, throughout the universe. I was dual minded. I was on the one side I was trying to cry, trying to weep. On the other side I was very glad to see the mosque in a, such an entitled f fashion, in a very charming. Two things, 
once I will shut my eyes, I will weep like anything. When I open my eyes, I will be glad to see Imam Hussain alayhi salam resting in a very wonderful and very charming tomb. Yes, of course, in our group of uh, 80 people, we have one Sunni also, al Sunnat wal Jamaat, one person is along with us. He is also interested to see. In Kashmir, uh, al Sunnat wal Jamaat, yeah, non-Shias non also want to perform, also want to see the Karbala, also want to see Imam Hussain. They believe in that. Although they are not mourning, although they are not making Marsiyas, but they believe in Karbala. They also make Niyazes, they also make uh, charities on Ashura, in Karbala or in Muharram days. And whatever we see in other country, in Pakistan, we are surprised. Pakistan, they are not safe, but we in Kashmir feel we are safe. There is no ban on our Ashura, on our Jerus, on our this. Every, everything is okay, everything we are able to pray, everything we are able to perform. Yes, some uh, politically motivated persons try to affect it, but not so much. Our majlis are there, our marsiyas are there, our uh, muharram sarm, these are there. My final message, whosoever meets, Imam, comes to the tomb of Imam Hussain or in Hazrat Abbas or comes to the Karbala, please pray and pray for peace and harmony in the universe. The first dua, first prayer ours should be have peace on the, in the universe. And they pray for yourself. Everybody will come pray for yourself. There is nothing, nothing uh, good than that. But my message to all the viewers, whenever they come to Karbala, pray for the universe, pray for peace in the universe, pray for the peace among Muslims, brotherhood among Muslims, unity among Muslims. The first pray should be like that. Thank you very much. Thank you.